Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, it's going to be another update of the sedivaria that we had recently uh, done a cutting. I'll put the information in the description below if you haven't checked the video. Now, the reason why I'm making this video because a lot of people are very uh, concerned about their uh, leaf propagations not putting out pups. A lot of time I have seen people asking me questions related to uh, my pups only have roots. What can we do in order to... Uh, produce the pup now over here what i can say is you cannot do much uh, nor i or nor you can do much about it all we have to do is just leave them as it is now this is uh, the uh, leaf propagation that was done some time back uh, i'll put the date on the screen because i have to check when was the last time i had done this uh, now you can see uh, it's only one of them has a pup over here and rest all of them only have roots so in this case we cannot do much we only have to do is wait for them to arrive over here you can see there is another one the good part over here what we can do is we can start watering it because all of them have roots and they all have started to reach out into the soil as you can see uh, it's only when there are pups and there are no roots present we do not water but over here we have the roots all of them have roots so we can do bottom watering and you can also see that there are some mealy bugs as well so what i'm going to do is i will also tend to sprinkle some cinnamon powder uh, around the root area so that it can just repel them off uh, but usually these uh, do get affected with mealybugs especially with the pups and uh, with the new growing pups even before the pup tends to come out you will find uh, mealybugs around the roots which is a very normal thing all you have to do is just add some uh, cinnamon powder because here we cannot brush them if we are going to brush we are going to damage the roots over here the roots are more important to us than the mealybugs and once they reach a good size you can just brush it off but at this point of time if you're going to brush off the mealybugs then it will destroy the roots most probably the roots might even break because they're very tender right now you can see they're still very pink which means they're yet they're not fully developed once the roots are fully developed they will turn red uh, they will turn white in color right now they are very red uh, one is because they are very newly developed secondly because there is a lot of light because they are above the soil but once they start getting in and once the pup starts coming up and once they start getting mature the roots will slowly start turning white in color so i do have few mealy bugs i'm going to clear their uh, clear them off or probably you can even take a toothpick and just try to very gently poke them out so i'm just going to take some cinnamon powder and i'm just going to let me take it closer over here and i'm just going to put it around over here like this on the roots uh, if you want you can just sprinkle it on the leaves as well that's not much of an issue because cinnamon powder will not harm the succulent because we are just using the dry powder we are just going to put it around the root area now this is just going to uh, give that very pungent smell to the uh, pest and they will start getting irritated with the smell so we are just going to sprinkle a little bit around the root, on the soil and around the root area so we have sprinkled very little as you can see uh, now in case if you start noticing the mealy bugs like you can see over here let me zoom in a little bit so you can see there is a one mealy bug a huge one I'm just going to take the toothpick. This is going to be a little difficult because I'm trying to focus and look into the camera. So I'm just going to take it out. So I'm not getting a hard surface. So I'm just going to take it out. I'm not going to show it to you because it's going to fall back again. So I'm going to just take it out and then just smash. Because I don't want to use any kind of liquid on this right now because they are very fragile. I know it's a little time consuming but this is not a mealy bug. I thought this is mealy bug but uh, this is not a mealy bug. It is the dry part of the leaf. But we do have one over here, so with the help of this toothpick, I'm just going to clear it off. I'm taking it out, as you can see, I'm just going to smash it off. And uh, I don't see any more of them. Coming to the mother plant, the mother plant is also doing quite well. Uh, the pups also have grown to a good decent, not a decent size, basically they have grown well. A uh, long way for them to go before I separate them from the uh, mother plant. They are still very very small. Probably they might be one centimeter. So I'm not going to touch them. Uh, this is uh, the, the uh, bloom stalk that I had cut. So it's completely dried. And there's another one in between. Again another bloom stalk. So there is another pup over here. That is also doing quite well. So now there is something that I wanted to show you guys. I didn't expect this to happen. If you remember apart from these things. We had also done another form of propagation and that was from the bloom stalk so these were the leaves from the bloom stalk and guys 
this is the result i just can't believe okay there is another tiny one over here smelly bugs are the worst thing that can ever happen nevertheless we're gonna just take it out and smash it off and this is what i wanted to show you guys you can see all of them have put up pups i just can't believe because all this while I used to just throw these uh, bloom stalk leaves away because I used to throw the entire stalk without collecting the leaves and this is the first time ever because I always felt like uh, the leaves are really small they might not be able to generate pups but this is the first time ever uh, in seven years I have uh, kept the bloom stalk leaves the leaves that you usually find uh, let me find a another one that already has a bloom that is happening so that you'll be able to understand you can even watch the earlier video of this i'll put the link in the description below you can check what i'm talking about so all of these leaves have started to uh, put out pups let me take this one and show it to you in much closer way that how beautiful this is uh, this is the pup i'm talking about you can see it's very very tiny uh, this one does not have roots but the pup looks amazing so we have one over here let me show you the one with the roots and you can see this one uh, has a pup and has already put out a root and i just can't believe how beautiful this is uh, all this while i have been throwing these uh, leaves away i feel so terrible so i'm going to start collecting these now uh, because these are free succulents of course uh, you don't even need to pull out the leaves from the mother plant these are something that we usually throw off so you can just collect them uh, now the size of those bloom stalk leaves depend upon the mother plant uh, these are very tiny because you can see the mother plant itself is uh, quite small it's very medium so the bloom stalk leaves are really small but uh, larger the mother plant the bigger the leaves that is much easier to propagate but i never thought that it's going to get propagated at such a small uh, size because there is hardly anything uh, present in this uh, you know the water or nutrients is going to be in very minimum amount but still it's doing quite well again guys i haven't watered uh, both of these ever ever since the day that they have been put into this they haven't been watered this is the first time that i'm going to be watering them uh, this one i'm still going to wait for some time because there are pups but there are no roots only one or two of them have roots so i'm not going to water it as of now but uh, this one i will be doing watering after this video i have already made a video i don't want to repeat it once again to show you how to do bottom watering uh, if you want i will also put that link in the description below you can check it out as well so it's going to be the same process i'm going to take this container and keep it in the water and let it get bottom watered because all of them all all of them have roots so it's not a much not that much of an issue but these guys uh, i'm not going to water it but I'm just uh, so surprised that all this while I used to throw them off and uh, just to make this video I thought I'm going to try an experiment and it worked out really well. So as they say every day is a learning. This is something that I've learned after so many years that I should have not thrown this out. I'm sure a lot of you guys might be knowing about this but I never wanted to take the chance because a lot of times my uh, bloom stalks are completely uh, affected with mealy bugs so i don't take a chance of separating them i just you know toss the entire bloom stalk in trash but uh, this time this one did not have much of mealy bugs on the bloom stalk so i thought i'm going to try it but you can see uh, the result is amazing and uh, henceforth i'm going to clean the bloom stalk take out all the mealy bugs and you know keep the uh, leaves for propagation so this is another bloom stock uh, what i was talking about in case if you're too lazy to go ahead and click in the description below i'll show it to you right away over here so these are the leaves uh, the mother plant is uh, quite big so bigger the uh, leaves now this is the reason why i don't keep bloom stalks you can see this culprit over here there you go There was a mealy bug. It's no longer there. There are two, two or three more. I'm going to take them out as well. So this is the reason why I don't keep uh, the bloom stalks. This is an ongoing issue that happens. So I usually tend to cut it off. But now that I have seen this experiment, I'm going to save up these leaves because these leaves are almost as good as taking leaves from a succulent because you can see the leaves are really large and they will definitely give me a lot of uh, new pops. So I'm going to. Uh, store this leaves because this is an absolutely beautiful succulent echeveria noble so i'm definitely going to save all of these leaves before that i am going to 
find these culprits and get rid of them okay there's one more over here which is a really large one there are two more we're gonna have them this pierce them this is so satisfying to just pick them out so this is how i usually deal with mealy bugs i do not spray anything it's little bit of manual work but it's a, a very satisfying thing to do to pierce these guys and there you go you can see how large these guys are bigger the succulent bigger the mealy bug bigger was the mealy bug because it's no longer breathing so i'm going to store and you can see the amount of uh, that uh, dew that is there on this uh, you can see these this is what oh okay it it just falls off you can see this this is the honey dew or oh, i don't know what do you call it the ants are crazy about this is that honey dew thing i hope it doesn't fall on my hand so this is what they are crazy about gonna still stuck onto it I'm just going to clean it off so that's all about it guys you can see uh, this is a uh, been a really amazing experiment for me uh, something that i learned new uh, all this while i used to just throw them off but henceforth i'm going to first cut the bloom stalk clean it completely and then take out the leaves uh, we had just two of them on this i don't see any more larger ones probably there would be smaller ones on this but right now there are only uh, only the three larger ones uh, probably there might be the smaller ones this is the bloom that i'm going to just chop it off because this is what it causes all the problem apart from that it also tends to absorb a lot of uh, energy from the mother plant so i'm going to chop it any which way so so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating